This program is brought to you by Emory University. Nit nitric oxide really is a very important gas that's produced by cells throughout the body. It's really important for blood pressure regulation, for protection of the heart, protection of organs in general across the body. And the, the issue is that nitric oxide has a very short half-life. It only remains in the body for a few seconds. It's a free radical species and it's rapidly broken down. And so one of the problems in translation to the clinic has been how to deliver nitric oxide therapies over a long-term or more chronic basis. In recent years, uh, we've discovered in others that nitric oxide, due to its short half-life, is actually rapidly broken down into a molecule called nitrite. And nitrite appears to be a very stable storage molecule that can be converted back into nitric oxide during conditions of hypoxia or ischemia, such as might happen during a heart attack or a stroke. And now scientists are really investigating how we can harness the, the use of nitrite to deliver nitric oxide during cardiovascular diseases and a number of other diseases. And of interest is the idea that um, green leafy vegetables that have been thought to be healthy for many years actually contain, contain levels of nitrite and nitrate and nitrate can be converted back into nitrite and then into nitric oxide. So now we have a way that we can modify our diet in a healthy manner. It's also interesting to note that people that have diseases, cardiovascular diseases and other diseases, have very low levels of nitrite and nitrate in their bodies. And so this begs the question, could we improve their health by increasing the amount of nitrite and nitrate in their diet? Nitric oxide is, has a very short half-life in the body and many of its very powerful and protective effects are difficult to harness with nitric oxide based drugs. However, scientists discovered that nitric oxide is actually broken down into nitrite and nitrite is in incredibly stable in the body. It sticks around for a long period of time. However, when the body suffers low blood flow or hypoxia or some disease state, Nitrite is rapidly converted directly into nitric oxide, or NO as it's called. And this NO can then exert beneficial effects, dilate blood vessels, improve blood flow, and alleviate the low blood flow or the hypoxic condition, and this could be life-saving. So research has been initiated in a number of diseases, both cardiovascular and non-cardiovascular disease states, to study the use of nitrite given orally or via injection to protect. So since nitrite has emerged as a very, very important method to increase whole body nitric oxide levels, a number of scientists in England, in Germany, and in the U.S., as well as other, other universities all over the world, have been trying to harness this molecule in a number of ways. And clearly there are uh, diseases that are very acute in nature, such as a stroke or a heart attack, in which scientists are looking to perform clinical trials uh, to give injected versions of sodium nitrite, and this nitrite can then be converted to NO and protect the brain or the heart against these very harmful situations. But for more chronic diseases such as high blood pressure or hypertension, peripheral arterial disease, and also pulmonary hypertension, it's clear that, that scientists and pharmaceutical companies are looking at utilizing oral forms of sodium nitrite that can be taken every day to increase whole body levels of nitrite and then increase the amount of NO and alleviate these very harmful situations and protect the patient against these, these cardiovascular disease states. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.